Hi guys, so today we're talking about my spoilt cats and their spoilt lifestyle. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so I'm going to put the links on the bottom of the video just in case you see something for your very spoilt cat and you want it, it's there. Let's talk about the cat wheel. Um, I actually have it in the background here. <laughs> I'll put some videos in, but it's not very noisy. So yeah, it's got a little stopper so you can stop it from running if it's too late on a night and the cats have decided to go for a run. Um, but yeah, it's quite beautiful. It was, seemed easy to put together. Um, I had one before um, and I had bits sticking up the sides here and the cat hurt its foot on it and never went back on it. So then I left it a few years and got a new one with paw protection. So the cats can't jam their paws at all, which is awesome. Okay, so I'm moving on to the litter robot. I clean it once a week, um, maybe even longer than that. It tells me on my phone when it's full, tells me when um, the cats have been weighed, tells me when the cats go to the toilet. Um, yeah, it tells me when the litter needs chopping up. It literally just takes clumping litter and that's it. There's no smells, there's nothing like that. Um, by far one of the best things I've ever had. Um, makes a little bit of a mess, like when they get it on their paws and they flick it everywhere, just a tiny bit. And I just wipe it up. Um, when I fed them, I wipe that up and then I wash my hands when I'm done. You don't have to cover it up for him, Popcorn. Are you going toilet now? Look at them legs. No, no. Just wanted to cover it. <laughs> Good girl. Okay, so then also when I moved into this house, I got um, a cat den built onto the back of the house. Um, it's got a rain cover so I can sit out there and have a cup of tea with the cats and we can go out in the rain. The cats were out sitting on the sofas in the rain earlier so they didn't get rained on. Um, bugs get in and the cats love bugs but other than that rats can't get in. My last outdoor enclosure a rat got in and the cats were like fighting the rat and it was it was just a nightmare. <laughs> So this time I've made sure that no rats can get in. Um, I've put extra blocks of wood all the way around. Um, yeah, and they get all the smells. You know, cats like to be active and going outside. So even indoor cats deserve a little bit of outdoor space. Okay, moving on to what my cats eat. Um, I give them two portions a day from Catkin. This is 100% meat. It gets delivered to my door. Um, the box can be recycled. I just love it. It's just amazing. The cats love it as well. Um, makes them poo and wee less. I don't know how that works, but it does. Not like I care. I've got a little robot now. <laughs> um, but yeah, cats are meant to have 100% meat in their diet, nothing else. Um, yeah, and you can choose all different sorts of meat as well. Um, it is a bit hard being a vegan and feeding your cats 100% meat, but what can you do? So there's turkey, there's duck, there's cow, there's pig, there's chicken, there's fish. Um, did I say turkey? But yeah, there's literally all sorts. Um, and you can edit it when you want and change it around. Like my cats have stopped enjoying turkey so much. So I can take that off and put something else in its way. And they really love chicken, so yeah. The cat pram. Okay, so cat prams are amazing, obviously. Um, so it's like taking your dog for a walk, but it's a cat pram. And it looks like um, a pram for human babies, but this is a cat baby. So not many people look, especially with it being black. Um, and my cat being black. Um, yeah, my other cat doesn't really like going out in the pram. She doesn't even like the wind in the garden. Um, so only my oldest really goes out in the pram, but he loves it. We go to the park, we watch birds. Um, you can be fastened in or you can be closed in completely. I'll send it, I'll put a video on here. Um, yeah, and I put all my shopping underneath it. So when I go in Asda or anything like that, I can zip them up. And he's just in there, nobody knows he's there. Unless he shouts, which means like, I'm bored, can we go now? <laughs> 
Oh, and the pram's got a little rain cover, so I just put that underneath, and if it starts raining, I cover them over. Um, you know how cats don't like getting wet. They also have a cat backpack, so if you don't fancy pushing a pram, we've got a backpack, you sit the cat in, you can clip him on with his harness, and he's in there, or you can close him in fully, totally up to you. And then it's got a bit that extends, um, so it pulls right out, if you're sitting down having a picnic at the park or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's got little side pouches, and it is, he is quite heavy because he is quite a big cat. So I would recommend only getting one for a smaller cat because I can walk 20 minutes and my back would be killing, but I guess I'm just a small human. This is their fountain. Cats really enjoy running water, otherwise they don't really bother with it. I put my charcoal filtered water into it top it up or refill it once a week. I try to feed them 100% meat treats as well, which you can see me giving them. I've got two cat trees in my house. Um, the cats tend to hide in them when uh, a fire alarm goes off or somebody's at the door, so I always know where they are. Um, yeah, and they sleep in them as well in the sunshine, which obviously cats love sunshine. Um, that was the whole reason I moved to this house, so cats could have more sunshine, more outdoor space. Yeah, cats are like plants, they need water and sun. <laughs> So it might not sound like a spoilt brat sort of thing, but I get my cats vaccinated once or twice a year. They send a text message over to us and we just take them off in the pram or the backpack. Um, it doesn't really seem like a spoilt brat thing to do, but I feel like all animals should be looked after at the vets and make sure they've getting all the vaccinations and checkups and da, 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 da. And all this stuff is expensive, but they're our babies. The same goes for flea treatment as well. Um, so once every three months, we pick up three doses for each cat. Um, yeah, so we don't have to go backwards and forwards. The vets just text us when it's there. And I think that's also a big part of spoiling your cats and making sure they're safe because nobody wants to be itchy. Like That's like the worst feeling ever to be itchy. Um, yeah, and I don't want bites and to be... Ugh, no. <laughs> right guys, thank you for joining me on this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, my cats are proper spoiled and I hope your cats get proper spoiled with these links below. Bye, thank you for watching.